Hello, my friends, and welcome to The True. I'm Robert Wallace, and this is the place where we ask, are we choosing the way of Jesus, or are we choosing our own way? Today is our 20th devotional together during this time of Lent, and this is the Monday of Holy Week. I pray that you've grabbed your Bible and you're ready to follow along with me. Today we'll be reading from Luke chapter 14, verses 16 through 24. I stop for a second there. I want to make sure that you know that you have an invitation from me to reach out, to share a comment, to ask a question. You can send me a private message. You can call me, text me, 434-531-8672. I would love to hear from you. Today's title is excuses and you'll understand exactly why when you get to the passage there it's titled the parable of the great banquet we're going to ask some hard questions today as we have been again all of this is designed for you and i to do a self-examination to go deeper to look to grow in the grace of god through studying his word together Follow along with me as we begin in verse 16 of Luke chapter 14. Jesus replied, A certain man was preparing a great banquet and invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I have just bought five yoke of oxen, and I'm on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another said, I got married, so I can't come. The servant came back and reported this to the master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. Sir, the servant said, what you've ordered has been done, but there is still room. Then the master told his servant, Go out onto the roads and country lanes and compel them to come in so that my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those who were invited will get to taste of my banquet. This, my friends, is the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Will someone say, Thanks be unto God? Here's the questions. Have we accepted Christ's invitation to the eternal bank banquet? Now, Christian, do we make excuses for our busyness in life? Do we excuse ourselves from daily devotion to Jesus Christ? Do we make excuses for not sharing the good news of Jesus Christ? Do we share the compassion of Jesus Christ with others? These are all things that Jesus wants us to do. So we have to ask ourselves, which way are we choosing? Are we choosing the way of Jesus or are we choosing our own way? I pray that as you prayerfully consider this passage today and these questions, that you'll do so, first of all, asking the Holy Spirit to give you eyes to see and ears to hear God's truth from his word, then that you will have a receptive heart and mind to receive these truths. And then, with the boldness, commitment, and courage of Jesus, take a step of faith today and be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, whatever it is that he may be asking you to do today. Are you going to miss the great banquet? Are you going to miss the blessings that begin now in a life in Christ? I pray you'll have a wonderful day, my friends. Go in the peace of God. Blessings to you. Bye for now.